Good morning. Welcome to another beautiful morning with OCD. It's, uh, what is it? It's about um, 11 degrees at the moment. The sun's out. There's not a cloud in the sky. It's a beautiful day. And it's a perfect day to give my wife's convertible roof a coat of protection. So, the long drawn out saga of trying to find a decent protection for this roof the latest um, product I'm going to try out is Fabseal. Now this has been um, recommended to me by a few subscribers. Um, I did order, it was recommended that I order Fabseal Gold and that's what I ordered. Um, what came was Fabseal. So in the current situation I'm just going to get on with it. I want to put something on the roof. Um, so we're going to put this on today. Now depending what the conditions are like when I come to apply it I may put it on um, via a um, sprayer or I may use a paintbrush, you can use either. Um, certainly I've seen people put this on tents with paintbrushes and I've seen people put it on their roof, uh, convertible roof with a paintbrush. I think that's my preferred option because that way you, get, you don't get any overspray on the vehicle, I won't get a face full of it. Um, and all of the product will go on the roof. So that's my preferred option, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So I'm going to um, wash the roof first. Um, so I'll, what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, video me cleaning the roof, drying it, and then um, give it a few hours. And in this, with a black top, in this um, sunshine, um, the roof will dry in no time at all. Um, so I'm going to show video all that, but I'm going to speed all of the washing process up because if you've seen any of my previous videos on protecting the roof, you've seen what I've done in the past. So I'm just going to speed that up to whiz through that. Um, so I'm going to clean the roof, um, and then while it's dry, I'm going to clean the rest of the car. The rest of the car is just covered with pollen. It's literally it's sat in the drive, hasn't gone anywhere since the last time I cleaned it. Um, it's covered in pollen. So I'll, um, I'll clean the rest of the car and then I'll have a spot of lunch and then this afternoon when the roof is really thoroughly dry we'll look at putting some, um, some Fab Seal on. Now you're not staying for lunch so you've got to sort that out yourself. So I'm going to get the uh, buckets and products out to uh, clean the car. I'm not going to use a power washer on it, I'm going to use just an ordinary garden hose. So while I get all the bits and bobs out, as normal, your job, you got it. Put the coffee on. See you in a minute. I've got auto finish rag top, which is what I'm using to clean the roof. Um, it's quite a good product, but I know, I know, it's a crap top, crap spray head, but it's what I got, so I use it. But it is a good product. Um, so I'm going to put some on the brush, and it's a reasonably soft brush. I'm going to put some on the. That's not me. That's the drain. Um, I'm going to put some on the brush, squirt it all over the car, and then we'll give it a good scrub. So I'm going to uh, just get a drying cloth out and go over that to help it dry and then um, once I've done that I will quickly get on with the rest of the car because otherwise I'll get watermarks on it um, and then we'll catch up again as soon as, uh, as soon as I'm ready to put the application on. Okay, welcome back. Um, hope you had a good lunch. Right, so um, I've cleaned the car. Um, well, I haven't put any detail spray on it because I'll wait to make sure that um, that's going to be the last thing I do. So the roof is lovely and dry now. Um, but before I put any of this, I've got a little, I've decided to um, paint it on. Um, so I've got a little container here that I'll use. This is what some Christmas tree lights come in, I think. So I'll use that. Um, and the reason is it is very breezy out there and um, it's just going to go everywhere if I spray it. So we'll put that in there in a minute. But before we do that, um, now it's dry, 
there is a little bit of lint and stuff on it so I've got one of these little lint removers so I'm just going to go over the um, roof with that first. Right, as you can see I've got a little bit off. Right, let's get the uh, the product out, shall we? Right, so I've got no idea what this is like. Feels quite feels quite sort of watery. I thought I was going to be in trouble there, childproof lock, managed to crack it. Right, don't know how much, how far this will go. We shall find out. Let's give it a go. Good doing it with a paintbrush because you can get into all of the little um, seams. Okay, so that's this side done, so I'm going to do this in section, so I'm going to do this side, then I'm going to do the back, then the other side, and then we'll do the top in sections. Right, so that little bit I've uh, I poured in this little part that's all gone now, so I'll do some more. Um, and then I'll carry on doing the top, and then we'll, uh, we'll catch up when it's finished. Right, so what did I think of that? So, actually it was okay, but when I turned the video off and I started to do the roof of the car, the top of the roof, I found that wherever I stuck my um, paintbrush um, on the roof, 
um, it, it seemed to absorb almost everything that was in the paintbrush and it wouldn't spread so I was dipping it in and doing a bit and dipping it and it was getting a bit sodden so I then converted to using a sprayer so I got one of these, I've got a couple of these these were um, a pound in um, home base now I don't know how long they're going to last but certainly did that okay um, and the spray head's really good now the whole thing was a pound so auto finesse and angel wax have a look they can get some decent sprays for next to nothing um, so I started to use that and then what I did I was um, using the pair of them so I was spraying it and then spreading it with a brush at the same time and uh, yeah it worked okay it actually has left the roof whether it's because it's damp I don't know uh, but it's left the roof fractionally darker um, but we shall see with the sun out what is it it's 20 degrees bloody hell it's 20 degrees now um, so that will be dry in no time at all um, and then it'll be uh, interesting to see the next spot of rain we have now this says I think it says leave it for uh, six hours so it's got six hours drying time um, I would suggest it's less than that um, in this weather but yeah so uh, it's quite a um, solvent um, type smell it's not particularly pleasant um, but yeah it's okay so um, I'm quite pleased with what I've done um, but then I was quite pleased with some of the other products after I applied it so let's see what it's like in the rain so, um, quite a quick video today, although I've done loads and loads of work off camera, um, but uh, quite a quick video. So, this is uh, Fabsil, so we'll keep our fingers crossed, and this first spot of rain we have, I will uh, film it and uh, report back to you guys. And it will be great if this was the end of the journey for finding a um, protection for the roof. We shall see. Oh, one other worrying point, I was just going through some of my um, emails and uh, I've got a um, comment from a user today that said um, he put this on his tent and uh, it rotted <laughs> I really hope that's not the case <laughs> we shall see anyway from OCD you guys take care bye bye okay so it's the next day um, no weather no rain forecast for the next week so I thought I'd come out here this morning and um, give it a water test for you guys and then um, I'll uh, clip it onto the end of the video. So, moment of truth. Yeah, so that wasn't too bad. Um, there was a patch over the driver's uh, seat that wasn't beading very well, but that was clearly poor application because the rest of the car beaded pretty reasonable, I thought. Um, it is only day one, um, so we need to see how long that lasts. Um, it was uh, recommended to me that I go um, and give it two applications because although I, it was recommended that I get Fab Seal Gold, uh, what turned up was just fab seal so it was recommended to me that um, I give it at least two coats um, but I think that's quite promising um, let me give it another coat um, and then uh, we'll see how long that that beading lasts so uh, thanks for this quick catch up this morning um, and this will go on the end of the video you guys take care bye bye